you know, this time I've just been try trying to improve. I kind of messed up my last fight with Dennis Seaver. It was a good, um, it's a good wake up call. You know, maybe, uh, maybe I should drop weight. All the guys from 155, 175, or come down to feather weight, and you know, maybe I should start dropping down to to uh, bantam weight. You know, so that time gave me a lot of time to think about what I should do with my career. You know, and um, of course, you know, I'm always trying to fight, always trying to stay active. But you know, you see, they have a lot of fighters, and um, it's hard, I guess, to get to get into the mix of things when there's, there's so many fighters. So I was just lucky that uh, the rotation came around and my chance, was, my chance came up. My very first time trying to cut to 135, I was, um, I just got back from my friend's wedding. I was his best man, and I ate all this cake and everything, all this bad food, and I got to like 173 pounds. I was like, oh my god, so disgusted, and like. Um, and I was like, you know what? I want to do a practice cut, and like, like in three weeks, and it was like Fourth of July, like three weeks, a few weeks before Fourth of July, and so it was like June something, and like uh, I, I cut like in three weeks, I tried, tried to push, I cut like something, some, twenty something pounds, got like to like 152 or something like that, and like um, I was so exhausted, I was like, oh man, this is too, it's too hard. So you know what, what, I, what I did was uh, okay. I'm gonna try to walk around 155 or 150, and um, then try to do a cut and try to do the cut again. And now um, um, I clean up my diet. You know I live like a very healthy lifestyle, and much more healthy lifestyle. Um, and the weight's coming off pretty well. I got the call from the UFC a few weeks ago, and they're like, hey, what do you think about fighting Mizugaki? Uh, 135. I was like, duh, Mizugaki. You know he. That's a, that's a scary fight. He's tough. He's on three fight win streak. Very powerful, very good striker. But you know, I think um, our my style, our style, it'd be, it'd be a fun fight. My style matches very, his style matches very well to my style, and um, I think it's gonna be very fun. You know, at least for the fans' point of view, it would be fun. A lot of fireworks, at least. You know, uh, I, I'm excited. I, I've definitely watched a lot of tape on him. You know, sometimes just for fun, because you know I'm a fan of Mizugaki. That guy. If you see him fight, he come, he brings it. He's fun, fun to watch. Um, he punches very hard, good gas, good chin. You know, he, he, I, we we don't see too much of his, his ground game. We don't know too much of his ground game because uh, he has good takedown defense. If he gets taken down, he gets up very well. You know, but he ha he has some submissions and he does submission attempts. So, you know, Japanese guys, you know, they know jiu jitsu. You know, but. Um, Let's see what I can do. I like, I like to bang, you know. I got some, I got some jiu-jitsu background. I wrestled in high school and college, so let's see what I can capitalize on. <sighs> you know, I like the, um, this new fight at 135. Um, I like to think it's a new trend for, for myself, but you know what? Seriously, it's um, I'm 30 now. You know, I'm fighting for over 10 years, more than 10 years, and um, I'm, I only really realistically give myself. Like, a few more years left in this in this game, this business, you know, because the older I get, the slower I get, and these guys are just getting younger and faster. And I'm just gonna, you know, I just gonna give my give one last run for the sh for the title or one last shot, you know, just do my best I can at 135 for however many years I got left, you know. And um, if I if I beat Mizugaki, you know, I'm not exactly sure where it puts me, but I think I think it looks good.